has lost everything as Charles' last word vow to give mysterious daughter special houses and title. Before she got together with Prince Charles, Camilla was married to Andrew Parker Bowles. Camilla and Andrew had two kids, Tom Parker Bowles and art curator Laura Lopes. According to Royal Reporter Katie Nichols' 2010 book Harry and William, William and Laura did not get along back in the day. William and Laura used to have terrible fights over who was to blame for their broken homes. William would blame Camilla for all the hurt she had caused his mother, which would send Laura into a rage. Laura was not having any of it. She would take a hard line and fire back at William, your father has ruined my life. Laura married Chex Notes former Calvin Klein model Harry Lopes back in 2006, and while his technical job title is now accountant, he's best described as a very fancy person. Not only is Harry Lopes the grandson of a baron, but he's also related to the famously wealthy Astor family. Laura actually has three kids, a girl and twin boys, but her daughter, Eliza, got to be a bridesmaid at William and Kate's royal wedding. According to the Express, Charles may bestow royal titles upon his stepchildren when he ascends to the throne. In other words, Laura could become a duchess or a countess or a, insert fancy name here, when Charles becomes king. That said, the royal family's hesitancy to give Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's son, Archie, a title seems to suggest otherwise. Laura might not be a card-carrying member of the royal family yet, but Duchess Camilla has made it clear that she's a big part of her life by specifically including photos of Laura behind her during Zoom interviews. See that pic on the right? That would be an ever-before-seen portrait from Laura's wedding. In other news, experts believe Prince Harry's memoir release threatens Duchess Camilla's role as the future queen consort. Presenter Dan Wooten made this revelation while speaking to Robert Jobson for GB News. Mr. Wooten started off by admitting, still no word from Prince Harry at all, which we know is purposeful because they think a lot about their communications and how they're going to be read into. So do we get the idea that William has accepted this and Prince Harry hasn't? Later on, Mr. Jobson joined the conversation and added, I think that's what they're trying to say, I think we shouldn't read too much. I mean, Prince William is more pragmatic there's no doubt about that because he's going to be the king. He has to be really, he has to be a bit more grown up about all this but one must remember that when Harry's mum died, he was only a little boy, he was only twelve and he would have found it quite emotionally difficult to accept her as his stepmom and to be fair to Camilla she never really hadn't. She had a family herself. She never forced herself to be a stand-in mother. But you don't get the impression that Harry is particularly fond of Camilla and we'll wait to see what he says in this book.